how to make a wizard hat. The materials are in the description. I want the hat's top pointy bit to consist of three different but identical panels. To find out what dimensions they need to be, I measured around my head where I want the hat to sit, then divided it by three. This number will be the hypotenuse of the triangularly shaped pattern piece and sit right against the inside of the brim and against your head. Focusing on the brim, I have a head that fits me and could use to figure out the right size. I chose to go with a more oval shape rather than a round one because it resembles the shape of a head better and therefore will have a cleaner result. To stiffen the brim and make the end result less floppy, I decided to get into an experimental mode. After transferring the pattern piece for the brim on the lining fabric, I painted the shape with wallpaper paste. This is the glue I usually use with paper mache. Alternatively, you could also use starch for this part. This experiment actually worked really nicely and after applying two layers of the glue, I cut the fabric out. I didn't cut it out earlier to prevent unnecessary wrinkling. Unfortunately, the glue is water soluble, which will make the end result ahead for only non-rainy days. I tested the strength on a test piece and was positively surprised how well it held up and decided to go with it anyway. After successfully testing the fit, I cut out two layers out of my green woolen fashion fabric. This included seam allowance, unlike the lining layer. I also thread marked the inside edge of the pattern on one layer to be able to see the line from both sides. I sewed around the outside edge with a backstitch right sides facing. I clipped the edges to make sure the end result will lay nicer. After inserting the stiffened lining layer, I held the pieces together by sewing a running stitch close to the outside edge. I also sewed around the inside edge where I thread marked earlier. This stitch should only catch the two outside layers and just barely not include the lining. Then I clipped the inside edge to almost meet the seam. The top part of the hat. The pattern piece for this resembles a symmetrical triangle with slightly curved edges. After making sure that a mock-up fit and changing the things I didn't like, I cut out the pattern three times out of the fashion lining layer. I sewed the corresponding pieces together and clipped the fabric when needed. After ironing, I secured the seam allowance down with a herringbone stitch to prevent it from moving around. This is totally optional though. Attaching the top to the brim was a tad bit tricky, but with some pins and patience very achievable. I made sure to line up the center front of the oval brim with one seam of the top. I lined up the lining layer seams with the seams on the top and folded in the seam allowance of the lining layer. Encasing all the raw edges, I felt down the lining layer. Which concludes the making of this hat. Thank you for watching and let the magic begin.